So at this point we have trees cut out, but uh, I didn't want to take the time to go forever and rub all these out. So I'm just going to stick my fingers in there and try to pull the tree out see how that works. So I'm going to use some Gorilla Tape. I'm going to tape inside here because it's really porous and I'm thinking the resin is just going to go right through it. Uh, at very least, I could tape around the outside and underneath so the resin stays in here. Uh, it actually might be better that way because it's going to be hard to tape in these cracks. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I got a big box of half used colored pencils. We're gonna line them up all in here, stuff it full, and then move on to filling it up with resin. So here's the first part. I'm just gonna do one because a lot of these are uh, sharpened on both sides and I really want a flat part against the bottom. So I'm gonna fill one all the tops are going to be excess and what's in there I think will come out as the ornament. I just kind of shoved it in until it was tight, until they flattened. It took a while, but let's see how it turns out. So here's the moment of truth. Let it all seep down. Definitely should have made my edges bigger. It's seeping oh, over the I edge. I got so much more resin. I'm thinking I'm just gonna pile it in here. The other ones and see how they come out. Don't really want to waste resin, so. Probably just a waste over here, but give it a try either way. So here's where we take a break. We let it sit in there overnight. Usually I put it in my pressure pot, but this is too big to fit in there. So we're just gonna let it sit. I didn't have to tape anything down. It was wedged in pretty good. Usually I have some floating on the colored pencil holes I do. But uh, I think this probably is gonna work out as long as the resin stays in. And I think it is. Okay, so day two, everything has hardened. I think I'm gonna have to cut it out, but uh, I'd like to pry it out, but we'll see.
right, so there we have Christmas tree side. I'm gonna cut off this backbone. I think we're gonna slice it into two. And there we are. So after the joiner, I had some pieces fly off, but of course it's grabbing. I did about a uh, less than a sixteenth per pass, probably about a thirty-second, but I had this one corner fly off. So I'm going to take some CA glue and glue it up. Use Fast Caps 2P10. I'm going to go with the medium, it's just what I prefer. So we're just going to take a little bit of glue. I'm on the Rockler silicone mat, so it won't stick to it. It will stick to your hands. So it just takes a dab. Just barely anything. And push it in there. In about four seconds, it'll be glued up. You'll never even know. There it is. I love CA glue. I'm also going to use it for the finish for everything. So I'm going to come through with a file, maybe a little bit of sandpaper actually, micro mesh, hit the edges because there's a little bit of uh, tear out, and then come back with the CA glue and finish them out. So I just take some micro mesh, rub it along the edges. Here's how we're going to do. We'll do it on one, see how it comes out. Pretty much rub a ton of it on there. Yeah. And take a brush, brush it on. Okay. Really makes those colors pops. But it also makes your brush hard. So my brush is hard as a rock. Okay. Now we're just going to flip them over. Okay. Do the okay. other side. Okay. Alright, so in between coats I'm going to hit this with a 600 grit sandpaper. Get it a little smoother. So I use some Howard's feed and wax, beeswax and orange. So you just get a paper towel. Put some on. From one side to the other. And I wipe off any extra I have on there. The final thing I'm going to do here is put a hole right on top. Right there for the hook. 
Make sure you put a backer board behind it. That way there's no tear out coming out the other side. One of the cooler parts of these is you hang it up to the light. You'll see right through them. to take some ribbon and just feed it through those holes I drilled earlier. Tie it up. I think we're gonna go about here. Do it for all three and there we go.